What's up guys, I'm Max, this is MaxWorks, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a custom headache rack and rails uh, for my 09 GMC 2500 HD. Now the reason we're going to be building this from scratch uh, is for two things. First of all, I couldn't find a kit I liked that allowed me to install a winch into the bed for loading bikes and stuff like that, uh, just as it was. And the kits that I did like that I still have to modify were like 1500 bucks. So for about $300, including the price of the winch and all the wiring and everything, we're gonna build a custom headache rack and rails that meets my needs. Um, and so this project is gonna be a little bit of wiring, a, little, a lot of welding, and a lot of metal fab. So basically we're gonna start fabricating everything up on the truck and uh, go from there and then eventually I'd like to pull everything off and then I'm gonna paint it with that uh, bed liner that you saw me use in an earlier episode. So the, some of the big feature sets, and I will put a link to everything that I bought down in the description below so you guys get an idea of the prices and everything. But um, the idea was that I wanted two rails and each rail will have three D-rings welded to it. Um, because my truck, the location of the factory tie-down points is kind of weird for motorcycles. It just doesn't, it doesn't really work very well. So I need to put tie-down points where I actually need them. And so I bought some big beefy, um, I think they're like 3 8 inch, or no, I'm sorry, 5 8 inch uh, D-rings, which are huge, like 6,000 pound D-rings, like you'd find on the back of a, like a flatbed trailer or something. But I really like the aesthetic, and going bigger is never going to hurt you compared to going too small. Now the main piece, which is going to go up against the cab, we're going to have a piece of angle iron like the rest of the bed rails and then we're going to have D-rings and in the middle I'm going to build a mount and put one of those Harbor Freight 2500 pound uh, winches on it allow me to load bikes into the bed by with just one person like I had on my old truck but in this case it'll be a lot sturdier a lot less janky of a setup and on top of that I would like to build a headache rack we have some really thick wall like 120 wall uh, Dom 2 inch tubing um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build basically just a, a trapezoid like that, the, the mirrors, the lines of the truck, um, and that'll allow me to lay long pieces of steel across the top of the tailgate and the top of the cab basically without damaging my paint uh, or damaging the truck cab. So this is gonna be kind of a long project, um, and so the best way to do it is just to get started. We're gonna start first by fabricating the, uh, the two sets of side rails because everything is going to mount off of those. So, nothing to do it but to do it. So, here's basically what you're looking at. And you can see it's, it's totally flush. What we're going to do is we're going to put in stakes that pull down right there and on the inside of the bed you can see on this side there's a lip right here what we'll do is we'll drill through that lip over here and bolt this in and our shackles will be welded on inside of here and this gives kind of the top of the bed a little bit more protection but it won't destroy the paint because obviously i had all of this rhino line so it's uh, it's nice and nice and thick on there now that we got this all ground down, we can add the uh, D-rings, and so we'll do this one first. So I'm going to put a D-ring right here in the middle, and we'll do a D-ring six inches off of each end. So I just got this clamped to the table, this set down, I'm going to bust out the uh, MIG, turn it way the fuck up, and just uh, burn it in. Like I said, these are 5 eighths inch, these are like 6,300 pound working weight, way overkill for this application. <laughs> got six latches those welded in I haven't bolted these in yet what we're gonna do next we're gonna do the cross piece and what's important here is that I measured 69 and a quarter inches from the outside of this to the outside of that so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay this down then we're gonna cut out the square so it lays flat here and then this part right here will weld up right here 
and but this will also give us the foundation for our roll bar now here's our top piece and to make it fit down into the bedside we're gonna have to cut out these these flaps will sit on top on the sides and this will allow it to drop straight into the bed There we go, that's what it looks like installed. And we will weld all the inside seams uh, somehow. I still haven't figured out how I'm gonna weld all this without you know, hurting the truck. This stuff is pretty robust, this Rhino liner, so I might be able to do some pretty heavy tacks. But you can see it lines up nice and square. Um, and so the plan is put one shackle, two shackle on the inside. Obviously the winch is gonna mount right in the middle and then from here there will be a bar that comes up comes across above the uh, third light and basically just builds a little frame right there so here's our winch setup that's the next thing we're going to focus on building we're going to build basically the frame that our winch is going to sit on and so harbor freight sells this guy for like five bucks this uh winch plate and it makes mounting these uh, front rollers a lot easier and the winch just bolts to this plate now we're using this hole right here and this hole right here. It comes with a whole bunch of them, I think for different models. But basically we're just gonna weld this onto our bracket. And so I'm gonna take you guys up in the truck here and show you kind of where I'm thinking this is gonna sit. So this right here is basically what I'm thinking, maybe just a little offset. Cause remember we have to be able to use those two sets of bolt holes in the middle. So we're gonna run our two inch tubing right here in the middle. And we're going to mount it flush with the bottom of this piece. So it's basically going to be a little two inch square that's going to come out and it's going to allow us to bolt this, uh, or I'm sorry, weld this onto there. And we'll just do it off of the center line and then the winch will be done. Now in terms of wiring, um, I don't know if we're going to get to that in this video or in another video, but um, basically the idea is I'm going to use a subwoofer wiring kit uh, to run heavy gauge wire back here. That'll run the LED lights and the winch. <music> So there's our finished winch mount in place. You can see we got all our mounting holes and stuff. So next step is we gotta build the roll bar. This is kind of the trickiest part of all of this because it um, requires a little bit of math, a little bit of precision. Um, and basically all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get um, the right angle. And earlier on, I measured it and I came out at like 12 degrees, but I cut a few test pieces so this is what 15 degrees looks like and you can see it follows the uh, the cab pretty well but it's a little wide on the top now this right here is about 17 and a half degrees and in my opinion that follows the cab almost perfectly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use 17 and a half degrees as our angle um, and I think we're gonna use like about 25 inches so 
The thing is, I want to keep it as low as possible because there's a lot of low overhangs here in Austin, uh, parking garages, stuff like that. Um, so I'd like to keep it as, as low as I can, uh, accounting for the fact that I'm also eventually probably going to do 33s or 35s on this truck, and so it's going to get even taller. And so and it's pretty tall to begin with. So I think we're going to do is I'm going to measure a little bit more and figure out what the shortest basically runner I can get away with. And you can see um, there's water in here. This, uh, this OEM piece right here, you can see it's cracked. Um, now, I have never transported anything against it, but you can tell somebody obviously has, and this is exactly why you want to build a headache rack so you're not breaking these things. Because that little piece of plastic right there, 70 fucking dollars on eBay. So there we go, we got our two end pieces cut, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put them in the furthest out corners, because this thing's going to end up centered anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this out in this outermost corner, and I'm going to go ahead and tack everything on on the truck, and to obviously protect the truck, we got a fire blanket on it. It's not actually a fire blanket, it's a moving blanket, but it should be a fire blanket. Um, that'll just keep it protected from any sort of splatter or whatever. Um, but like I said, we're, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put like three or four tacks on it. Uh, and then obviously we'll take this thing off and do the finish weld. And the nice thing about this is we can figure out our main runner piece uh, on the workbench. Because once these two pieces are tacked in place and uh, welded, they're going to be um, fixed. And so then we can just do that cross piece and then test fit everything back and it looks like we're getting pretty close to getting this thing all put together. So there we go. Um, obviously got to tack everything in place to get it all square, but uh, for those following along at home, this thing is about 51 inches wide. And again, this is going to be the same angle we have there because law of sines or cosines or whatever the fuck it was from grade school. Uh, so you know the angles are going to be the same. What I've done is I've left half an inch because we made these things as short as possible. I wanted a little bit of a lip in case we put long material so they can, if they slide over, they're not going to pop right off. So we're going to leave a half an inch here. We're going to cap these off. We have the caps over here somewhere. Uh, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this all squared up, make one last set of measurements with tack welds, um, and then we can basically finish welding out this thing. Well, there it is, fully welded out, all totally straight. Weld it on these end caps, just ground it down. Obviously, after we paint everything, all these welds are going to disappear. Um, but that's pretty solid. Now, there's two more things that we need to add to this specific uh, piece before we can get everything mounted up in the truck. And that is we need... <clears throat> um, we need to build little brackets for the LED lights. Um, those are just going to be little pieces of steel that, that it can bolt into. Nothing super uh, fancy pants. Um, and then I would like to add, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two tabs right back here, the face down. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to hook behind this lip right here. And so it'll just give it an extra piece right there where it can kind of grab onto um, because this is a, as kind of a boxy thing. And then obviously we need to drill the side rails uh, through here so we can get those bolts mounted in there as well. So there we go. We just took some bar stock made these little mounts. These are LED mounts. I'm going to drill a hole in the middle of each of these and weld them on here. And these are our side plates. So what these are going to do is go under here. You can see right in here, there's a lip on this bed and these are going to be the reinforcement plates that go up in there, just like that. And obviously there's going to be holes drilled through it so that um, bolts all the way through there. It just goes right in there. All right. We are all welded up. We are off the truck. I've wiped it down with acetone. At this point, all that's really left to do is to paint this thing with truck bed liner. It fits perfectly. We've got our four little block off plates set up for painting as well. Uh, this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Um, this is really the only way I can set it up to paint it. But it's going to be kind of a pain in the butt because I got I would like to paint all of it. Uh, meaning the upside and the downside. I think I'm going to leave the shackles themselves bare. But I am going to paint um, this piece right here, um, like the, the shackle holder part. And I'm going to try to cover it all with one coat. And then the stuff takes like 24 hours to dry. So it's probably going to be tomorrow before I can cover it with another coat. Hopefully by the weekend, I will be able to get this thing back on the truck uh, and have it all done. Um, so at this point, nothing really much to do except for me to break out the paint brushes and the, uh, this stuff. That's what we're going to be painting it with. Right there, Rust-Oleum truck bed coating. 
Uh, it worked pretty good for the metal stand, so I think it's gonna work pretty good for this. Well, here we are out in the sunshine. There we go. We got our lights installed. We got our winch installed. I actually used this to uh, the other day. So you can see the winch isn't fully wired yet. I haven't gotten time to do that. But I actually used the winch with a battery pack and loaded this thing. This bike's almost 700 pounds. And uh, she loaded and unloaded like a champ. So I'm still waiting on my switches and stuff to get here to wire in the LEDs. Um, and I have the kit to wire in the winch. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but this is pretty much what you see. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the, my, my, all my automotive friends, a lot of places I've gone, people look at it and, you know, I get a lot of compliments on it, you know, cause it's, it's a very clean design and, uh, you don't see very many, um, kind of, uh, you know, pre-made ones that are, that look this nice, that follow the body lines as well. So I'm very, very happy with it. Like I said, it tied down the bike. Fantastic. Uh, the whole frame didn't even flex loading it in and out on my old truck. That little thing I had would flex the fuck out of the bed, but this one just doesn't flex. Um, the tie down rings are exactly where I need them to be. Uh, and you can pull the sides real tight, uh, and it holds it like a champ. So all in all, I'm very, very happy with this project. It turned out really well. Um, anyway, I'm Max, this is MaxWorks, thank you for watching, if you like the video, hit the like button, if you like the stuff I do on this channel, hit the subscribe button, if you built one of these, want to talk about, have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment down, uh, in the comments below, peace.